I love a sunburned country, a land of sweeping plains, of ragged mountain ranges, of drought and flooding rains. I love her far horizons, I love her jewel sea, her beauty and her terror, the wide brown land for me. Without a good understanding of the flood risk, it is not possible to effectively manage the impacts of flooding on a community. And without a rigorous assessment of the flood behaviour, it is not possible to provide detailed information to determine future land use, appropriate flood mitigation works and supply essential data to the state emergency services to plan activities to combat flooding. Council can assist its community by understanding its flood risk. To understand and assess flood risk, there are a range of options using a process and the process you are about to see is one of those. The objectives of this video are to provide a visual introduction to floodplain risk management for council and council staff, new committee members, students and relevant services. To highlight how and when each person or party becomes involved in the floodplain risk management process and the importance of that role. To visually show various levels of government how floodplain risk management can save lives, reduce damage to infrastructure, reduce reliance on the SES, and reduce the devastating impact on individuals and the community. This DVD has three sections. Part A, flood scenario without floodplain risk management. Three scenarios, urban, rural, and commercial, without any local flood knowledge, mitigation works, or community education in place. Part B, floodplain risk management process, a step-by-step -step process for councils to develop, management plan, the key stakeholders, and the outcomes from undertaking the process. Part C, flood scenario with floodplain risk management. Three scenarios again with local flood knowledge, mitigation works, and or community education in place.